Instagram, only on Turner Classic Movies. Hi there, thanks for staying up late with us on TCM for Silent Sunday Night. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Since the early days of motion pictures, many actresses have been referred to as America's sweetheart, but the actress starring in our next film was likely the first. From 1919, Mary Pickford stars in The Hoodlum. The Hoodlum sounds more like a gangster movie than a film featuring America's sweetheart, and there have been a few gangster movies with that title, but this is actually the story of a young girl making her way through life in the slums by helping people. Her plight, though, is a little different from most people in her situation because she's choosing to live in the slums. Her character is actually a wealthy girl who, on a whim, really, decides to move out of her grandfather's mansion and move into her father's cold water flat where he's studying poverty. He's a sociologist. Pickford made films often examining social injustice, even if that examination was made in a lighthearted manner. The Hoodlum was the second of three films developed by her own production company, the Mary Pickford Company, a unit of First National Pictures, which later merged with Warner Brothers. While working on The Hoodlum, Pickford got seriously ill with the flu, part of the deadly flu epidemic of 1918. Reportedly, Pickford was so dedicated to her work, she ignored her doctor's advice and came back to work on the film before she was fully recovered from the virus. An admirable work ethic, certainly, though, Maybe not the best decision when you have a potentially lethal communicable disease. But Pickford said, if the star is laid up, the whole picture stops. Dozen, perhaps hundreds of people will have to be idle. So you take your life in your hands, if necessary, to let the picture go on. From 1919, also starring Ralph Lewis and Andrew Arbuckle, Fatty Arbuckle's cousin, here's Mary Pickford in The Hoodlum. 